Today on Mechanics Minute, let's cover glow plugs and how to get them out. Today we've got an LOI in the shop and it's got a glow plug code. One of the biggest things that we run into as these are getting older is getting out the old glow plugs. Let's see if we can get these out of here without too much trouble. We've gone ahead and pulled the fender liner out of this truck as well as pulled some wires back out of the way so we can see what we're working on. The first step we need to do to get the glow plug out is to remove the nut holding the wire on. We do that with an 8mm socket. We've got the nut removed and the wire off. Now we want to spray a little penetrating oil on the glow plug itself. One thing that we might do in order to help get the glow plug out easier is try and work on the engine when it's up to operating temperature. This one has been cooled off and has been sitting for a while, so it's a cold engine. Using a 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet, we're going to go ahead and attempt to remove the glow plug. Just gently apply pressure on it. Don't try and force anything. This one is coming right loose. And we're able to pull the glow plug out easily. If you've got a stubborn glow plug that just doesn't want to come loose, don't force it. You don't want to break the glow plug off. If the glow plug doesn't come free by hand, we've got one extra step. Basically all this is, is an impact adapter mounts in our air tool and accepts a 3 8 socket on the end. To use it, we chuck it up in our air hammer and then while using the impact lightly we can apply a three quarter inch wrench to put turning force on the socket to try and work a broken glow plug free. When we use the impact, we're not trying to chisel through a, a forest. All we want to do is apply gentle hammer strokes to try and loosen the plug up. Make sure that you're on nice and square. In this situation, gentle taps from the impact along with the wrench putting pressure on the glow plug, we have managed to break this one free without having it broke off in the cylinder head. We can now go ahead and remove the glow plug, still turning it slowly in case the threads are boogered. We've managed to remove the stuck glow plug from the cylinder head, and we have our new one to put in. Before putting the new one in, Apply some anises to the threads of the glow plug. And simply reinstall. Simply tighten the glow plug back up and be sure to torque it to spec.